Hey up, today I'm in Liverpool and we're going to check out its famous nightlife. We'll check out the famous Matthew Street and visit some famous pubs and clubs. I'll try a local delicacy, a bowl of scouse. And we'll generally just have a good time in this fantastic city. So stay tuned and let's find out if this is the best night out in all of the UK. Hey up, today we're in Liverpool and we're on our way to the first pub. And we're here, you can get a pretty cheap pint here, the Blob Shop. Looks busy. You going for Neil? Oh, bargain. Two pounds sixty for a pint of strong ball. You can't beat it, can you? And you can get a John Smith for two pound and five pence. And then, oh, oh, then. So a blob, we think, is a warm white wine drink with sugar to taste. Is also 260 in here, rather, so you can't beat it. You can see why it's so busy in here. Saturday afternoon, Liverpool City Centre packed. Straight out at Blob Shop, and we're going to go over the road to Nelly Foley's because of Nelly. He's found a boozer with his name on it, has he? <laughs> right. I wonder if we'll get a 260 pine. That's for a cause! How much we owe, Johnny? Five pounds and thirty pence. Over the road, it's like more than half the price. Well, I don't know, my maths might be off there. But you get the sentiment. Cheers, boys! for a bit of grub now uh, we're gonna let me get some traditional scouse fare a little cafe called maggie mays if we can get to see it anyway oh it's fast and boiling isn't it too many layers on somebody's put the shorts on it's not exactly bending on people but he's put shorts on so he keeps saying how warm it is Ooh, i like it warm but i don't like it this warm it's all right. It's all right for a t-shirt. Shorts is a bit extreme, I think. 
No. Go and pick it up then. No, the other one inside of it. I I'm not giving him 20 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I'm that sh desperate for hey, 20 quid, lad. 20 quid's 20 quid, mate. 20 quid. It's it's two beers in that last bar. <laughs> yeah, a bit extortionate in that last place, wasn't it, Nelly? What are we called? Nelly Foley's. Nelly Expensive is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. So I think... I'm gonna go for the traditional Maggie May's original Scouse at 875. Let's give it a whirl. I don't like corned beef hash and I've got a feeling it might be quite similar to that, but we'll see. A little break from cider and a nice full fat Coca-Cola. Full fat, it's gotta be full fat. It's gotta be full fat as Neil says. Definitely with Shandy, if you've watched Scarborough video. Hang on a second, we've got me and Neil have both got full fat. We're on as old as the end of the day. Jordan. Jordan, his new companion. Zero sugar. What's going on? There's no of him either. That's why. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the way forward, viewers. You don't like peas? No, I have to swallow them all. Just chew them? What? No. <laughs> Yeah. It's not a tablet. You better pay for them so I'm eating them. I'd eat plate if I could. <laughs> Is it nice though? Do you like it? Yeah. Mohammed Salah running forward. Outnumbered, it's going to be a problem. Thank you. Can you ask what's in it? So my scouse has arrived. Let's give it a shot. It's a tiny bit like corned beef ash. Pick up on Manchester pie, love it. No, it's nice actually, I like it. Yeah. I like a nice stew. Do you like it? Yeah. A bit more salt for me, I like it. A bit more salt? For me. Is that the first time you've tried Scouse? It is, yeah, it's lovely. You bet. You might nice well. crusty bread. I'm gonna try it with a red cabbage now. Red cabbage really cuts through the richness of the stew, actually. Really nice, adds a bit of acidity. Clean plates all around. Nearly. No, not quite, it'll get there though. Enjoy it, mate. Yeah. Stomach liner for tonight. That's it, it's all about wine, it's stomach for tonight. Yeah, we're really nice, that cheers. So that was Scouse. If I uh, had to relate it to anything we had before, I'd say, well, a bit like a corned beef hash, but with chunks of beef or lamb instead of, um, instead of corned beef, obviously, yeah. But yeah, we're, we're nice, nice crusty bread. Would I have it again? Maybe. Don't know, we'll see. Right, we're on way back to Rome to get checked in now. And uh, some of us are travelling particularly light. <laughs> Jordan, you do know we're only going for one night, don't you, mate? No, but I thought we were off to Benidorm. He's brought options, he said. <laughs> He's gonna have a little fashion show at room for Nelly. All his lipstick, his foundation and everything in there. Right, plan is we're gonna get checked in and then hit the town. So we'll catch you in a bit. So that's me spruced up a little bit, even put a shirt on tonight. So we're gonna hit the town and show you what Liverpool's like on a night out. Come on, let's get to it. <laughs> Right, we're on his way. We're trying to find Matthew Street now. We're going to start there. We know it's a bit of a tourist trap, but when in Liverpool, it's got to be done, hasn't it? Might try Cavern Club and all that. We'll see. Look at that. You won't fancy falling from that, would you, Neil? Not really, no. I don't think I'd bounce. <laughs> Doing a proper touristy thing here. We're actually using Google Maps to find uh, Matthew Street, but we're on his way. We'll find it. We don't want another repeat of Scarborough anyway when we're getting lost, do we? 
We're gonna find a pub quicker this time and I'm not having another Stoford press. Look. I think we're close. I can see it's sign for Matthew Street. Let's see what crack is. I think we're close. There's a big sign saying Matthew Street, what do you mean you think we're close? It's always bullying me, innit? I think we I think we might have found it. <laughs> yeah, we think we've found it. Strong bow, yeah, quite a strong bow, I think. How much was that? 16. So that come to about 16 quid for three pints. So yeah, about five pound odd. Gotta say, it's absolutely chocker everywhere. You can't move. He's down here anyway. Join you, send lads. face that and here's the new epi but he is getting involved. He's trying to get involved he's trying to get involved we're breaking him in gently aren't we Neil Is that near here? The best place in the country. Is it? You've never been to Castleford? Where the fuck's Castleford? Yorkshire. Oh, my brother lives in Harrogate. Oh, yeah, he's posh there. Oh, you fucking posh.
Never play another man's instrument. <laughs> Where are we going for your round, mate? Club. Club. Nah, it's too far away. Trying an old mouth. Uh, what have I got? Strawberry and apple. Strawberry and apple. Did it? I know Copperberg. Will I have enough? Million dollar question. Will Nelly have enough with that twenty pound note? Did it last one, Jordan? Nineteen fifty. Nineteen fifty. Should have got a cabin club lager. Have you got one? One of them. Expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Brace yourself. I'm not bothered. It's for me mate, so I'm not bothered. What are we saying? I'm going to say £15.80. £16.20. £16.20, please. £16.20? Yeah. Cheapest round, isn't it? Yeah, just. He's dropped on again, Annie. He's dropped on. Right, let's get this strawberry and apple a go. It's a bit like strawberry and lime copperberg. I'm not going to lie. I'll drink it, but it's not going to be my favourite. But a status quo. They're on any old three cards, ain't they? Trying to find Concert Square now. We're going to have a drink up there, see what that's all about. Here we go. Six pounds sixty on Concert Square for an old bow, raspberry and pineapple. Is that some Liverpool player or something? Is that struck?
two drinks have gone to his head, haven't From Del Monte says yes. One, please. There you go. How much? <laughs> this will be embarrassing if we don't go through. Yeah, we're not <laughs> yes. Cheers, thank, thank you. you. We're going deeper and deeper. Well, this is where the Fab Four played back in the day. The Beatles. We're going to go see where they're playing now. Okay. And I'm not drunk. Just a wee bit. What are you thinking of drinking, mate? Well, we've had no cup of beer. Oh, no, nah, it's our thinking. I might try some of those coming up. I might regret it. Oh, I it's worth a shot. What, if I don't like it, you're going to get me a shot? No, that's not what I meant. Double Daniels and Coke and a double Disraeli on Coke. I will never find that to recover from this. <laughs> yeah, 
Kevin Koblag and I. It's one of the best drinks I've ever had. Is it? Yeah. I don't think he's been genuine, is he? Oh, my God, they would have loved that. What do you mean, would have? It's still alive, you damn. Are you thinking of John Lennon? Paul, Paul, no, Paul, Paul McCartney is still alive, so he would have loved that. He would love it. Are you pissed? No, Paul McCartney's alive. Yeah, and he would have loved that. He would love it. Hey, bro. Yeah, cool story, bro. I don't know what he's talking about, but Paul McCartney is still alive. Wait, wait. <laughs> That was Liverpool nightlife. And I would go as far as to say, it probably is the best night out in the UK. What do we think, fellas? I'd agree. I've got to agree, it's one of the best nights I've had out so far. But, there's other adventures coming up. Yeah, coming to the channel soon, keep watching. <laughs>